Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. We finished another week. Today, the complete tour of Set Rayos ends. I want to remind many of you that those who haven't finished transmuting everything will be able to take another complete turn. It's not starting, it's finished transmuting and stopping. No, you will have to do a complete turn. As I said a few days ago, I will give you a period of three complete turns, and then I will offer you some more gifts. Then you will have plenty of time to transmute everything and be well. Anyone who wants to ride the wheel of the seven rays, even without transmuting, will have no problem. You can do it without any problem. Just experience that energy, taking over your body each day. Great. So we talk here about creation, referring to the blue ray, we talk about wisdom referring to the yellow ray, I spoke for two days about love. So today I would comment on the reference to Rayo Branco. The white ray is as if it were the balance. It is as if it were a small stop of analysis, of evaluation between the seven rays. Notice that before the white, there are three and after the white, there are three more. So the initial rays, you are creating with wisdom, with a lot of love, and it is as if in the white ray, you begin to take shape of what you created, of what you actually want. The next three rays deal with the elevation of the soul, healing, the way to carry out what was actually thought of, and elevation through the transmutation of the violet ray. Then the last three rays take care of the elevation of your soul. Between healing, elevating thoughts and transmuting everything that is bad, into love and light. So we can comment here that Rayo Branco would be the preparation for another walk, we could say. It would be a journey focused entirely on the spiritual, completely to the soul. Your ascension, I have already explained here, will take place through the quantum of energy that each of you can achieve. It doesn't hurt to remember that there will be no separating doors, there will be no one stamping the ticket, there will be no one looking at you, hmm, I didn't like that one, so this one won't go. That does not exist. What will give you ownership of that train ticket is your vibrational quantum, is the amount of energy you will have accumulated. So being in Rayo Branco is the same as preparing to drop everything that doesn't serve you and start preparing yourself with many weapons for the next journey. It's a balance, it's a transformation, there are several adjectives we can use. So, we can say that, to talk a little about the feeling of white ray. I'll start by talking about what the color white is. The color white is the sum of all colors, you learned that at school. When light refracts off glass or water, you see the rainbow, which is the release of all colors. Then inside the white light, everything is contained, all frequencies are contained. So to be there at that point, on the wheel of spokes, is to have already covered three rays and continue on to the next ones. No, the colors of the seven planetary rays do not correspond to the rainbow. When I commented here about other colors, when I spoke about the masters, I commented on the colors in a different way through the rainbow. Because your planet has several types of frequencies around it. Those, when I mentioned that they would be rainbow colors, were concentric circles. And now you are walking the planetary rays. One thing has nothing to do with the other. Ah, but some masters coincide. Yes, some masters coincide without any problem. So be at this point of balance, it's like that point in the journey, where you have to stop, you created in the blue ray, you used wisdom to maintain it, to continue the creation, they put all their love into Rayo Rosa and now they are going to actually make it happen. But they will make it happen, for the growth of the soul. Then it will be about making it happen through healing, energization and transmutation. So take this into your lives. Everything you plan, everything you create, always follow these steps, I plan, I create, I have wisdom in what I am creating, creating something that is good for me and for the whole. 
I put love into what I plan, what I want, what I see oh create. I stop, analyze how it is working, and now I draw all the strength from what I see oh created, for the elevation of my soul. This is how you have to think. This is valid and fits perfectly with that maxim, that everything you sow you reap. So if you are co creating something that is not good. For you and for the whole, when you reach the point that you will analyze, what good it will do for your soul, you won't find anything. Because it wasn't something that was good for the whole. Then it will not elevate your soul. It was only good for you, so there is selfishness and this does not elevate any soul. So everything you co create, everything you plan, think about yourself, of course, but think about the whole. Because when you reach that point, where you are reaping the fruits and you will start, to throw these fruits to the soul, you will have something to elevate for your soul. I want you here to realize and go back in time and start analyzing all the achievements you have had. Start observing that all the achievements you had, and which involved the whole, were much more victorious. Then many will say, ah, but my journey was not easy at all. I'm not taking that into account. The journey will be easy or difficult according to your beliefs. But the result is what matters. If the journey was difficult, you struggled a lot, but did you get there and was it good for you and for the whole? Congratulations to you, you managed to bring to the last degree of your soul, your soul has effectively evolved, with what you decided, with what you created, with what you lived, with that way of working. Now everything you do mechanically, or just for money, for status, for display, does not elevate the soul. You have lost a good part of your lives, and you have reached the point of the white ray and will have nothing to take to the other rays, metaphorically speaking. Always remember the seven rays. You create with wisdom, with love. Then you take that break, reap the fruits of what you created. And if it was good for you and for the whole, the journey continues towards healing, energizing and transmuting what was not totally good. But that took some quantum of evolution for his soul. Now if you haven't thought about the whole, you stop there, you don't go any further. So this is how, my brothers, you evolve. There is no evolution, thinking only about yourself. So when many here are worried, what is my life mission, what should I do to evolve? Everything that makes your heart happy. What's the point? You have a wonderful job, in a financial sense, but every day you leave home and feel devastated about having to go to work? What are you doing with your life? You've already taken a shortcut. Because if that doesn't bring you pleasure, it's your soul screaming, stop, get back on the right path. You are on the wrong path. But you insist, because it gives you financial returns, gives you a good life, gives you status, gives you a nice house, a nice car, gives you parties. But if you stop and ask, am I happy? It will be difficult for you to respond, because everything doesn't fill you it's all empty. I'm not saying here that having material goods and enjoying them is not good, it is. As long as you look at those assets and say, it was with my sweat, but also with my happiness, that I achieved all this. I worked or I work and I am very happy and the universe gave me that. Look what I achieved, with my love for my work. Then yes, then you will be extremely complete your soul's clapping and you evolving. Now look at all that and say, wow, I got it all, yes, but at the expense of my health, at the expense of depression, at the expense of various problems I have in my body, because I'm not satisfied with what I was doing. So what was the moral of the story? Have you contaminated your physical body with that feeling of dissatisfaction? You got everything you wanted, the house, the car, status, parties, interested friends, who we can't call friends. But what about your body, your mind, your soul? On the contrary, you reversed. Because for your soul, you didn't leave the place and you still managed, 
several illnesses, in parallel. So what was the point of so much money, so much status, so many false friends? Have you always thought like this, I want to have everything? The soul be damned, the body even less so, you never cared. And then what happens? Many people work their whole lives and then when they get what they always wanted, financially speaking, disease comes and they die. They don't live at all. What was the point, what was the use of so much effort, to have so much money, if happiness never lived in your heart? So keep asking yourself, what is my mission in life? I would like you to ask this question today, what is my mission in life today? Of course you can dream. I'm not saying here that you stop dreaming. CO create with love, but always think about yourself and the whole. And that dream, as if by magic, happens. Because you didn't just think about yourself. Think out loud, draw what you want. Show the universe at the moment you are drawing what you want, put your love there. Here universe, look at the house I want, I want it like this, like this like this, like this. And put all the prerequisites you want. But at the same time, say, ah, universe, I'm going to have this very big house, so I'm going to be able to employ a lot of people, so that they have a job, but an honest job, so that they have food on the table. I'm going to help them in whatever way possible, because to have this house here, universe, I'm going to have to have a lot of financial resources. So I will be able to help a lot of people, I will help those who work for me. They will be my collaborators, not employees, and they will be with me, maintaining my entire corner in a loving way too. I will attract people who want to work with love and I will help whenever possible.